Hey everyone, this is the method that I figured out to export particle animations to Armature, which you can then use to make the animation size much smaller or export it to other formats like FVX or GLDF. One limitation to this method is that it only transfers the location of the particles, but not the scale or rotation, and the maximum number of particles is 1000. If it's over 1000, you can split the animation into multiple smaller animations and do each separately. Alright, let's begin. So first, get the Splendor file, link the description, import your animation. The vertex count has to be the same throughout the animation, otherwise weird things will happen. This is a looping grain animation that I made. It's exported to GLB using shape keys, and I want to recreate it with armature. Add a geometry nodes modifier and from the drop down choose main animation. If the animation is not showing, uncheck this switch node. Oh, let me enable screencast keys so that you see what I'm pressing. Now duplicate the animation and change the geometry nodes modifier from the drop down to split particles. Now go to this cube object, find this object info node and choose the main animation and now the armature is matched to the particles. Select this armature object, duplicate it, bake the animation by choosing bake action, select everything except the first option and make sure it's set to pose then bake. Now go back to the main object and hit switch on this node. Now go to the duplicated animation object and apply the geometry node modifier. But in this case my animation is done with shape keys so you can't apply the modifier right away. First, I will go to the shape keys, select any of them, and delete or apply all the shape keys. And then I can apply the modifier. Now go to the second armchair, the one in a grid shape, and bake the animation again, but just bake one frame. Same settings, make sure it's set to pose. Now go to pose mode, select all bones by hitting A, go to key and apply pose as rest pose. I'm just making sure that the constraints are applied here. Now try to click transforms to see if this pose is correctly the rest pose by hitting Alt G, Alt R, Alt S and it should stay the same. Now go back to object mode. Select the second animation, then select the armature in the grid and hit P and parent with automatic weights. This will make each particle controlled by a single bone only. Now with the same object selected, hit Alt P and clear parent. As you can see, all the vertex groups are still there. So that is what we are going to use to parent this animation correctly to the armature where we baked the animation already. But to do that, all objects have to be in the center. Let me show you how to do that. I will first make a new collection to make things organized. Now I will move the object that we just cleared the parents for to the new collection. Go to edit mode, separate by loose parts, go to object mode, use set origin to geometry. 
from the drop down on the top right make sure locations only is selected and now scale everything by zero this will make sure that it doesn't affect their scale but only their location hit ctrl a and apply all transforms now join all these objects by hitting ctrl j and finally you can just parent this object to the armature that has the baked animation with empty groups and you're done now the animation is recreated using armature here I can see that the raindrops are rotated the wrong way so I'm just going to go to edit mode and rotate them by 90 degrees so they are facing the right way Then I will export it to GLB again. And as you can see, the result is only 14 megabytes, while the shape keys file was 70 megabytes and I can optimize it further. I managed to make this rain animation from 140 megabytes to only 4 megabytes.